Welcome back once again dear students. Last day we completed the chapter The Swan Queen. I hope everyone understood this chapter very well. Let's move on to the exercises. You have to make a fair copy. You have to make a English notebook for your English course. In that first chapter you have to start with word power. Word power here. Fetch, go for and bring back. Often a child whose parents are dead. Heed, pay attention to. Beyond, further than a place. Fondle, touch gently and lovingly. This much of word meaning you have to study by yourself and to please copyright in your notebook also. Next, main exercise is fill in the blanks. First one, every morning they went out to a nearby forest to dash dry wood and leaves. Collect is the answer. B. But they dash as to who their kind helper was. But they wondered is the answer. C. Then she turned into a maid and went to the well to fetch water. When is the answer? D. But the queen refused to dash to any of them. Heed to any of them. Heed. Heed already we know that pay attention to. We already studied in the word meaning. E. She left her son and dashed away with him. Flew. F L E W. Flew is the past participle of fly. Answer the following questions. You will get after this video. I will give a short answer keys for all the exercises. So, answer the following questions. First one, what did the swan do for the old couple? Second one, what did the old man do one day? C. Why did the maid cry out badly? Who married the maid? What did the king do when the queen did not come back? Next one and last, what plan did the old man tell the king? So please students, please complete word power, fill in the blanks and question answers in your notebook. You have to make a fair copy for that. Don't worry, all the answers you will get after this video in the group itself, I will provide that. Let's see what is the third exercise. Match the words in column A with their meaning in column B. First one, put aside. Put aside is related with keep at one side. Second one, which, which is an evil woman having magical powers. C. Blued. Blued is fixed. Seize. Seize is take by force. Last one, feast. A grand meal. Moving on, learning grammar section. We know that a noun is a word used as the name of a person, place or thing. We can divide nouns into main groups, which are that groups concrete and abstract. Let's see what is concrete noun. A concrete noun names such a thing as it made up of matter. It has a material body that we can touch. Example, tub, child, mother. All these are concrete noun because we can touch it and we can sense it. Abstract noun is not like that. Abstract noun. Abstract noun is usually the name of a quality or action or state that cannot be seen or touched. Abstract nouns name things that have no material body. Example, Thought, childhood, motherhood. Just think about thought itself. Thought means thinking, isn't it? So we can't that touch that activity. Such a thing can be called as abstract noun. So given below here a list of nouns. Put each of them in eleven columns, which are the nouns here. We have to make into two divisions: abstract noun and concrete noun. So concrete noun means we can touch and experience, but abstract noun we can't touch it, isn't it? Example: man, manhood, dacoit, dacoity, friend, friendship, slave, slavery, hero, heroism, honor, ownership, minister, ministry. So concrete noun under that, all these will come 
മാൻ ഡക്കോയിൽ ഫ്രണ്ട് സ്ലൈവ് ഹീറോ ഓണർ മിസ്റ്റർ ആബ്സ്ട്രാക്ട് നൗൺ അണ്ടർ ദാറ്റ് മാൻഹുഡ് ഡക്കോയിറ്റി ഫ്രണ്ട്ഷിപ്പ് സ്ലൈവറി ഹീറോയിസം ഓണർഷിപ്പ് മിനിസ്ട്രി ഓൾ വെൽക്കം സി വൺ മോർ തിങ് കോൺക്രീറ്റ് നൗൺസ് ആർ ത്രീ മേജർ കൈൻസ് കോൺക്രീറ്റ് നൗൺ വി ക്യാൻ ഡിവൈഡ് ദാറ്റ് കോൺക്രീറ്റ് നൗൺ ഇൻറ്റു മെയിൻ ത്രീ ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് പ്രോപ്പർ നൗൺസ് കോമൺ നൗൺസ് ആൻഡ് കളക്റ്റീവ് നൗൺസ് പ്രോപ്പർ നൗൺ മീൻസ് എ പ്രോപ്പർ നൗൺ ഈസ് ദ നെയിം ഓഫ് സം പർട്ടിക്കുലർ പേഴ്സൺ ഓർ പ്ലേസ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ജോൺ ഓർ ഡൽഹി ദ നെയിം ഓഫ് എ പേഴ്സൺ ഓർ പ്ലേസ് ക്യാൻ ബി കോൾഡ് എസ് പ്രോപ്പർ നൗൺ എ കോമൺ നൗൺ ഈസ് എ നെയിം ഗിവൺ ഇൻ കോമൺ to every person or thing of the same class or kind example man city so man is a common noun city is also common noun it is commonly we are saying isn't it now let's see what is fifth exercise sort out proper nouns and common nouns from the following uh, two columns are there proper nouns and common noun there is a paragraph also we have to find out in this paragraph which are the proper nouns and column, uh, common nouns this is a paragraph delhi is one of the biggest cities of india it is situated on the banks of the river yamuna it has many historical buildings like the red fort the qutub minar the humayun's tomb made during the mughal period there are also many buildings of historical importance built during the british rule so can you find out which are the proper nouns in this paragraph s yes, first one is delhi is a proper noun uh, india is a proper noun very good yamuna is a proper noun red fort qutub minar humayun tomb mughal and uh, british all these are proper nouns now can you say which are the common nouns in this paragraph city is very good cities river and buildings are the common nouns enough let's move on to collective nouns in page number 12 we sometimes use words to show a collection of persons place or things these words are referred to as collective nouns example a bundle of sticks so match the following to complete the phrases sixth activity let's see a cluster of a cluster of first one is red with stars a pack of cards a pile of books a herd of cattle an army of soldiers see there is an important definition for a synonym a synonym is a word or phrase that means the same as another word or phrase example large large the synonym of large means big synonym means same meaning Seventh exercise, given below is a list of words from the lesson. Choose their synonyms from the box. Which are the synonyms in the box? Small, come, come back, distant, story, close by, fix. Nearby, nearby is led with the close by itself. Tail, tail is a story. Return, return means come back. Blue means fix. Little, small, far, distant. talk or chirp hello sparrow let's talk oh parrot you know i don't talk i only chirp moving on let's write section that is the eight exercise in the textbook imagine you are a swan write a letter to your friend swan who has turned into a queen and whom you saw sitting in a garden this letter is written with our chapter itself imagine you are a swan you have to write a letter to your friend swan who has turned into a queen and whom you saw sitting in a garden in this chapter you see in a magical queen swan so you have to write a letter to that magical queen swan that is a question so here is a sample letter there from the mulberry trees <laughs> 30 march 2020 we can write there or 2021 you can write there no problem dear swan self i saw you sitting in a garden while i flew over you looked not as happy as you had been with us we miss you much where are your those shiny feathers 
Where is your freedom to fly all around? Has the man turned to us to suit his wishes? I will fly over your garden every evening. Will you care to look at me and talk? You are sincerely a free swan. Now, this is the main activity. Ask the queen, you who had been a swan some time ago, write your reply. You have to write a reply to your friend. So, from King's Palace, in this chapter we seen Queen is living in where? King's Palace. Second April 2020. Mm, dear beautiful son, I am thrilled to hear from you. I am unlucky to become a queen as a result of man's trick. Man has removed my feathers as such. I can no longer fly. I miss you all. I miss the freedom to fly. I will surely wait for you in the garden in the evening when you fly over. Yours sincerely, the unlucky son. Dear students, don't worry. All these exercises answers is going to provide for you. After this audio, you will get all the answers. So please don't forget to write all the word power in the first chapter, all the fill in the blanks in the first chapter, all the answer the following questions up to A to F. You have to complete in your notebook itself. Last and final one more is there a visit to fairyland. Ninth one. A fairy is a small imaginary being of human form that has magical powers. Do you know any fairy tale? tale? Tell the tale to your friends. Dear students, if you know any other fairy story, fairy tale, you can discuss in this group after our all the works in the chapter first the keen